just like a little bit of a boyfriend fit. For real, because my lids are slightly hooded. Oh my gosh, how cute is this? Hello, mommy doggy. Oh, look at the traffic for Fluffy. The fair isn't even going on anymore. Where the drinks at? Kick game, let me tap that. No shame, cause you've been bad. Real one, but you knew that. Sit back, where the drinks at? Kick game, let me tap that. No shame, cause you've been bad. Real one, but you knew that. Look good on your own, I'ma give you what you want and more. Something about you and the way you move. I bet that's how they all try to hit you up. Bet you heard enough, so now I slide true. Trying to play it real smooth with the moves. I ain't trying to get played like a fool, no. See you shoot them down. Like Just got done like laying out. Ooh, don't like that placement. Definitely taking advantage of the last few weeks of summer. It's just like so crazy how different it is at the beaches come late August. As I was able to literally park like up on the beach, it took me two seconds to find parking versus the last few times I've gone to the beach usually I have to drive for just a few minutes because for the most part I have a good idea of like where to go but right now since like kids are back in school officially and stuff it's such a much more relaxed experience getting to the beach and like hanging out there it's like it's not empty but it's definitely like a little over half the amount of people that used to be at the beach but like you said just got done laying out went to Pilates earlier today y'all two minutes into the class i was like i don't know if i'm gonna be able to finish class i'm still sore from wednesday's class and this instructor started out with the finisher that the last instructor did at the end of class which was like the part of me that's the most sore and i i was dying i was like oh my god please don't tell me that this is an arm day but luckily she just started with like five minutes of arms then she moved to the rest of it being core and legs and I was like perfect because my arms are done like there's no way I would be able to do a full class of arms like absolutely not there was zero chance but I'm on my way now to the grocery store I need to just pick up a couple of things really quick and then head home to Mr. Leo I also got this new hat that I'm obsessed with I'm gonna off you guys can't see but this is from the brand 1111 and I saw Peyton Sarden wearing it and I've been obsessed with it for weeks I've, I had been going back and forth on if I was gonna buy this or if I was gonna try to find a hat that was a little bit cheaper this wasn't an expensive hat or anything but it definitely it wasn't like 20 bucks I kept going back and forth because I really wanted a hat for summer and of course like the last two weeks of summer I just finally decided I'm gonna get the one that I've been wanting so I really love it it's just as good as I was hoping it was gonna be shoot this was not the way to go I am Oh, I can go this way. But yeah, I really like it. I just felt like if I got any other hat, I was still gonna be thinking about this one. So I was like, let me bite the bullet. Let me spend just like a little bit more and get the hat that I've been wanting. Like I said, don't wear in the last two weeks of summer. I mean, obviously I can wear this in fall too. I can wear this any time of the year, but I was just like laughing. I was like, all summer I wanted this hat. And I waited till like the last weeks of summer. Little quick grocery run. Chicken. Oh crap, it's so expensive. This is the acai bowl you guys saw me eating in the beginning of the video. I'm obsessed with it. They're the Samazon acai bowls, and I get the peanut butter one, and then I add just frozen raspberries on top. So good. I'm gonna grab a couple, then sardines for Leo. Hello, beautiful boy. Hello. Hi. Who are you, cutie pie? Are you annoyed with me? All right. So I just got in an exchange. I don't think I ever unboxed the original. So this is actually my first fall purchase. Like I said, I did exchange it. I decided to go one size down. I've been trying not to get too much into fall things because we know I advocate so much for letting summer have its moment. But I just really wanted to get this jacket. <laughs> so it's my first fall purchase and uh, we'll wait a little bit longer to get other fall purchases. But I got this moto jacket and I saw someone say moto jackets are gonna be so big for fall. And I'm like, when are they not big for fall? Let's be honest. Like a good moto jacket is just a staple. It's gonna last you through many falls. But this one's a little bit different because it's got like 
kind of a little racing stripe through the front, which I thought was so cool. I originally got this in an eight, wanted it to be a little bit big, but I failed to realize that this is already oversized. So I sized down to a six. Oh yeah, that's better. I was like swimming in it before. Cute. Love. I love the stripes. I think that they're so fun, but okay. This is perfect. This is more what I needed. Eight was literally like down here. It was like huge on me. So this is, this is a lot better. Just like a little bit of a boyfriend fit. Not anything like super oversized, but I love it. I think it's gonna look so cute. I'll definitely be wearing this a ton once it cools down, which is probably gonna be a couple months, but like at night, like come late August and then September, October, it's like really hot in the days. It's like hotter than summer in the days, then it cools off dramatically and the nights are pretty cool. So I'll definitely be able to wear this at nighttime, but during the day, that's probably not gonna happen with this jacket until we get winter. Let me show you a star boy when the lights dim low. Uh. Yeah, get close, baby, get close. Get close, baby, get close. Sit back where the drinks at. Kick game, let me tap that. No shame, cause you've been bad. Real one, but you knew that. Sit back where the drinks at. Kick game, let me tap that. No shame, cause you've been bad. Real one, but you knew that. If you want, you want it more Got me speaking French cause I'm thinking about we Baby, leave your friends, you ain't gotta hurry And if you want, we can I am halfway through a shower right now I put in my hair mask And then I decided I wanted to let it sit in for a little while longer so I jumped out of the shower and I think I'm gonna wrap our friend's present for tonight I'm going to our friend's birthday dinner tonight which I wasn't originally supposed to go to it's a whole thing I'll explain it a little bit later but yeah I'm representing both Trevor and I at our friend's birthday dinner tonight Trevor is back to working pretty much every single day. So unfortunately he cannot come. But yeah, I just figured since yesterday, I didn't really get to do like my regular hair mask routine where I like leave it in and go to the beach because I was going to Pilates. I would like let it sit in extra today. So I'm waiting a little bit to let it absorb a lot before I jump back into the shower and rinse it off. And unfortunately, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that like regular hair mask routine, like wearing it to the beach and stuff anymore because if I'm taking Pilates on Fridays, I don't wanna put a hair mask in my hair and then like lay down on all of their equipment. I feel like that's a dick move. I'd be spreading my hair conditioner everywhere, but it doesn't really matter. I mean, honestly, there's only really like two or three more beach Fridays left for me, and I'll probably stop doing that. But anyways, let me show you guys what we got for our friend. So we got him a whiskey set, and this is kind of perfect. I wanted to open it up anyways, because I just want to check it and make sure, you know, we got sent the right one and everything. Oh my God, is this upside down? It is. Just kidding. It was not upside down, maybe upside down. I can't really tell. Okay, well, I'm not gonna open it further but yeah that looks correct this looks like the box that came with the set that i ordered i'll put a photo of it on the screen but we got him like a really nice whiskey set it comes with a decanter a couple of whiskey glasses it also comes with whiskey stones and stuff i think like tongs too like the works and we were at their place for the fight in the last weekend vlog and he had been looking for whiskey glasses and stuff for him and trevor and so we were like oh let's get him like a whole whiskey set in that case. So I checked with his fiance, made sure that it was something that they needed and actually she confirmed they were gonna register for one. So I sent her a couple and she told me which one he would like the best and that's what we got. But let's go pick out how we're gonna wrap it. I kinda like, I wanna use this one because I always use this one. Oh, ooh, or should I just go straight butcher paper? Ooh, that actually may be the way to go. Just like straight brown. Yeah, we're gonna do this and just some twine. Just make it very, very rustic. Is that the word that I'm looking for? I think rustic. <laughs> you guys, he had been sleeping this entire time until I started wrapping. Hi. You didn't want that, now you want it? Hi, I know. Babe, can I wrap this please? Come Christmas, is this gonna be an issue? Is this gonna be a problem? Are you gonna need attention every time I wrap a present? Out with my hand. Please be careful. Okay. Can I wrap this, bud? Will you let me? You got a nose mark all over. We're gonna have to tell Uncle Chris that that's from you. That's that's your way of signing off on the present, huh? For real. For real, please. Oh my goodness! You almost got the fish out of this. I put a bunch of 
dried fish in here and he's been trying to figure out how to get the brain out so he can get to it. Buddy, do not chew on the wrapping paper. You're so silly. You are the silliest boy ever. Despite puppy interference, we got it wrapped. It's a little rough because you guys saw Leo wanted to be very involved. But he did eventually lose interest. So I think come Christmas time, he'll be interested in like the first couple that I wrap, but then he'll lose interest, so that's good. But that's why I went with, like I said, just kind of like a little bit more rustic. I had wanted to do twine. I don't have twine, unfortunately. I totally forgot. So I really should go to Michael's at some point and just pick up some wrapping materials because I'm actually out of a lot of things. Like this was the last of this ribbon and I'm so glad that I had enough to do this because otherwise it would have just been wrapped. So mildly happy with how this came out. I mean, like I said, because I was dealing with Leo, we've got some bubbling and stuff, but it's fine. It's fine. I just gotta let it go. It looks great. And now I'm gonna continue on with finishing my shower and washing out my conditioner. I just dried my hair and you guys, I dried my hair with the unbrush and just brushing through as I was dry my hair and it took like five minutes to dry my hair so nuts like this this thing it's worth all the hype you guys get it i think it's like really hard to get on amazon but unbrush directly they should have it but it's so good getting ready just applying my primer but yeah like i said i'm going to trevor and my friend's birthday tonight originally i was supposed to go to Westlake in Thousand Oaks, north of LA, but Trevor wouldn't be able to come, so we couldn't drive his car, and I was gonna ride with a friend of mine, but she, a few days ago, realized that she had forgotten she had tickets to something tonight, so she wouldn't be able to go to our friend's party tonight, which I was bummed about, because I was gonna grab a ride with her, because my car actually needs some work done. Like, it's fine to drive around here, but Westlake slash Thousand Oaks is like two to two and a half hours from me, depending on traffic. I was not comfortable driving my car that far. It just probably wouldn't, wouldn't be safe, especially like driving back. Like I'd be driving home pretty late. And you know, should anything go wrong with my car, I'm stranded. So unfortunately I'm not able to go to my friend's party. But when our friend Chris told us he was having his birthday party tonight, we were like, oh, we have to decline. Trevor's working. And then like literally the next day was when I found out my other friend wasn't going to this party in Westlake, so I had to decline that party. And then I texted my friend Chris and I was like, hey, I can come to your birthday party. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm representing for Trevor and I because one of the other brief thoughts was that maybe I just go to Westlake and then Trevor goes to Chris's party, but just a little bit late because he has work tonight. But then he realized he's not gonna be off of work till like 11. And then, like I said, I don't have a ride to Westlake, so. I would take the train, but the trains are done by like eight or so, so I'd be able to go to her party for like an hour. So anyways, yeah, I'm just going to our friend's birthday dinner. It's not too far, it's actually where my parents live. And I remember that there's a Best Buy over there. So I checked on bestbuy.com because apparently if you wanna see something on display, they'll let you know which Best Buy has the electronic on the display. And I saw they have one of the cameras that I'm looking at. So I can actually like see it and feel it in person and hold it and just kind of get an idea for it. I am still considering the Canon V10. That's the one that we're gonna go see today. And I'm hoping that this Best Buy will have some version of the other camera that I've started considering. I'm thinking of getting one of the Sony Cybershot. I used to have a Sony Cybershot. It was my first vlogging camera and I really, really loved it and then like I got the A6400 from Sony and I was like, wow, this is like incredibly better. Really need to get it sent in for repairs because like I missed that camera. But anyways, yeah, I was thinking of getting a new Sony Cybershot. Not the same one that I had before though, like a different one, one that's a little bit nicer. So I'm hoping they have one of the models. I'm gonna get kind of an older model so it's a little bit more affordable because this line of Sony cameras that I'm thinking of getting can get really expensive. Like even though it's a point and shoot camera, they can be like 1200 bucks and I'm not trying to do that. So I think right now it's on the current generation is like the sixth or seventh generation and I'm thinking of getting a third generation, but like getting it new. So yeah, I definitely want to stop on my way to dinner tonight. So I'm trying to get ready a little bit earlier. I'm thinking for makeup tonight. Oh, by the way, for concealer, I used the Winky Lux with the full coverage under eye concealer. This is a highly, highly underrated concealer. But for makeup tonight, I don't really have like a look in mind or anything or like clear direction. I actually just pulled like 
some products that I haven't like used for a little bit and I think I'm gonna incorporate some of those into my makeup look for tonight so I think that that'll kind of dictate what I'm doing here by the way I really really like this this is the real techniques like two-in-one I think they call it like a miracle sponge or something like that it's really good I like the fact that it's like dual sided it's for both powder and liquids so when I'm doing my concealer I'm just using like one tool for both which is really nice and oh my god I'm so hot right now I'm gonna need to take a break in a second I'm sweating like you use the milk makeup what is this the sculpt stick when i first got this okay doing this turns the color so weird in here when i first got this i actually really did not care for it but i realized if i don't apply it straight onto my face and i just apply it to a brush and then stipple it on it wears so much better and i actually really really like it it's got a nice depth to it when i do it this way it's so much more blendable because it was just really harsh and then patchy before but when I do it this way, it blends so much better. I can control how much exactly I'm putting on and stuff a lot better. So just in all of the typical places, and then just a small tap to do my nose. I never used to be into nose contour, but I don't know why. Lately, over the last couple months, I've been really into it. I'm using the color Simmer. I'm kind of feeling a bronzy look. So I don't know where my bronzer brush went. Oh, there it is. Taking the Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula. This is an old one. It's like in a completely different packaging now, but I'm just gonna like generously go over where I contoured and then with whatever products remaining on my brush, just kind of spread it around. Just give me like a nice bronzed look. Totally forgot about these. These have been so in lately. The Pixie On The Go blushes. And then this one is in the color Ruby. So I'm just gonna apply Right there it's so bright oh my god i forgot how bright this is <laughs> and that's black i like a high blush placement just to kind of lift and snatch the face a little bit more and then whatever's left over on my brush just kind of even it out on my face perfect i love a bright blush like this with a bronzed look because it just feels so sun-kissed i have like the redness from the sun but then like the bronziness from getting tan but then moving on to eyes this palette where did i even get this this is their aphrodite palette it's an older palette but i really really like this i just recently rediscovered it they put the lightest shade next to the black and their black is really good so i've been using it a lot but it's like all in there now i'm taking just like a light nude shade all over the lid i definitely want to do a winged liner today i haven't done a winged liner in a hot minute but i do want to keep the eyes like nice and bronzy so i'm taking a blending brush next and i'm going to go into admire right here or just like kind of any lighter tone warm brown shade and start defining that crease so taking romance i'm going to brush this across the lid and then blend it upward into that first color just lots of blending and then i'm going to take this color right here euphoria it's like a goldy bronze color just on my finger and i'm just gonna pat it into the inner corner and blend it outward on the lid i feel like it's been a while since like i actually walked through full-on makeup tutorial with like any substance like i know i did my pool makeup one not that long ago but you know that was just like basically applying as little products as possible and this is the first time i've done like a full-on tutorial in a while but okay i'm gonna take romance and seduction combine them together and then add some dimension to my bottom lid. I'm just now realizing that I have hairs all over my face from my bronzing brush. I think it's time to get a new one. Oh my god, they're everywhere. It lasted for a while though. I think I've had that brush since like 2016. Took a quick break and literally stood in front of the AC unit for a couple minutes, but we're back. <laughs> so now I'm gonna tight line just my top lash. Then liquid liner, welcome back to the party. This is the Wet n Wild Breakup Proof Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. I don't know what size wing we're gonna make. I'm not gonna commit myself to a size because we know how liquid liner goes oh my god this thing i need a new one it just bubbled so i'm just gonna draw the tail first and connect it down to the lash line and then fill out the rest of the lash line oh that got thick and that's why i did not commit to a liner size before i drew it on so it's a thick liner look <laughs> also too this thing is like leaking out liner profusely so i think there's no way we're gonna do a thin look anyways trying to look like straight into my mirror as relaxed as possible because my lids are slightly hooded. If I look downward, the shape isn't going to look even when I'm looking straight ahead. I'm sure everyone who has hooded eyes knows this trick for their eyeliner, but just in case you weren't aware, 
that's probably the best way to do liquid liner when you have hooded eyes and you want to make the wings straight when you're just relaxed and looking straight ahead but yeah when you lean your eyes back your liner almost looks like a bat wing when you do it this way and that's correct that's how you want it to be for hooded eyes if your eyes are not hooded different story but okay i'm gonna let this dry for a second i think i'll do lips for right now while i'm waiting from mac i'm just gonna line my lips and then slightly fill it in i'm not gonna go all the way i'm gonna leave like the very centers untouched and then i don't overline my lips but i kind of try to like even them out a little bit so it's like the whole lip isn't overlined just like a couple of areas just so that both sides match a little bit better and then taking this natasha denona i need a nude lipstick this is in the color claudia i don't know if these still exist i'm just gonna put it in the center but i basically just like unearthed a bunch of like makeup that i haven't used in a while mm. This used to be like my favorite nude to put on my lips and now I just feel like it's too cool. I'm just gonna wipe it off a little bit. And then I'm gonna do a lip stain. This is the ColourPop Fresh Kiss Glossy Lip Stain in the color Twice Shy. Just want more color and more brightness. Mascara. By the way, you guys, totally random thought. Just because I was like watching TikToks when I took my little break. If NSYNC actually reunites, I'm gonna die. Like for a reunion tour, I mean like that's all I've ever wanted music wise. I was always team NSYNC. I never got to see them perform live. I did see Backstreet Boys perform live and that was one of the funnest concerts I've ever Ever fucking been to that and I think Coastal Country Jam three years ago those were my two favorite concerts ever I mean I'm not a huge concert goer so you know take my review and word with a grain of salt but those two concerts I just like I was having the time of my life but the Backstreet Boys were amazing this was oh god back in like 2012 or something like that but jesse mccartney opened for them and i developed the biggest crush on jesse mccartney after seeing him perform you guys he is so smooth like his dance moves and he's just like he's a, he's a performer like i was shocked at like the screams that were coming out of my mouth when he was performing like absolutely feral bro knows how to work an audience and work a stage don't sleep on jesse mccartney but yeah that concert was so much fun i think also too i loved it so much not just because the backstreet boys were amazing in general but because like i said jesse mccartney was amazing he was the opening act oh well i don't think he was the opening i think it's who's the guy from jersey shore that's a dj now is it Vinny? whoever it is i didn't watch the jersey shore so i'm not really super familiar but whoever ended up with a DJing career whichever guy it was after Jersey Shore they open opened like they were the very very first act and then it was Jesse McCartney and then the Backstreet Boys and it was such a fun concert every millennial in Orange County was there because that was like our concert which actually that was probably like similar vibes to the Neo concert that I just went to with Robin Thicke and Mario. I mean, that was, that's like deep tracks millennial shit. Not Neo, but Mario. I think that that's gonna be it for the makeup. Oh wait, I need to highlight and set. So, Morphe setting spray. And then since I'm keeping this makeup look more of like a bronzy look, I'm gonna go in with the Ofra highlighter in Bali because it's got a nice like bronzy tone to it. This highlighter also too looks so good like on the body if you want to highlight your like arms or collarbones or anything like that it looks amazing go into the winky looks palette and i'm gonna grab light and sweet this is their coffee kitten palette i'm just gonna do a little bit on the inner corners and then the brow bone i just love the way this step just finishes off an eye the inner corner and the brow bone every time but okay so that is it for makeup i'm just gonna let the setting spray dry a little bit but I need to do my hair. I'm going to use the Kalista Thermal Brush again. There's like a little dent in my hair. So much for no dent clips. But I'm going to use the Kalista Brush again. But I'm going to do that for a TikTok video. So if you guys want to see how I style my hair for today, that'll be over on TikTok. Or I also did a full dedicated video review to the Kalista Thermal Brush. It's this guy I realized I should show it to you. But if you missed it, this is supposedly a dupe for the Amika Thermal Brush. But I've never tried that one, so I can't really vouch for that. But I will say that I love this this is amazing i'm obsessed with it so i'm gonna give myself a blowout in like 10 minutes or less with this right now ac is on if you guys can hear that but hair is done just a full look at it looking nice and bouncy and voluminous and full 
really love that brush but right now i'm trying to decide between two outfits this one was my initial thought i just steamed these trousers the wide leg trousers from abercrombie with this princess polly top that i got it's like a little bit of a baby doll style top or the other thought is this white dress this one's just super easy really good go-to but i'm gonna try both of them on and i'll let you guys know which one i go with so i went with the trousers and top looks really cute i do have the gather all bra underneath i was able to get it to fit underneath the part that connects in the middle is down here so even if there's a keyhole you can still wear it underneath the top like this and it looked and feels so much more secure and then i have my little bottega mini jody dupe bag from amazon and then shoes are just these strappy nude sandals that i got from target a while back like when we went to hawaii this is the pair that i like ran out the night before we left for hawaii and got but they're so comfortable and they go with anything so i'm really glad that i got them and then i just have a couple of gold hoops on and then just my ring and my bracelet but that is the look for tonight i'm gonna head out of here because i need to take leo on a walk before i leave but we will head straight over to best buy really quick so that i can hopefully see the canon v10 in person so that i know what new camera i want to get in the next few weeks all right camera section so here's one of the ones i'm considering it would be the rx 100 3 not the 7 as you guys can see Definitely not in the price range right now, just for a second shooter. You can get a good idea of this one. It's just so clear. It looks so fucking good. And then I think the difference in generation is that the three that I want does not have a touch screen and like a couple of other things, but it's still the same lens and pretty much the same depth. But yeah, would definitely be down for this one. These lenses just always scare me because if you drop the camera and you damage the lens whole thing's done or if you damage the body you gotta replace the lens too versus what i have right now with a detachable lens if i damage the lens i don't have to replace the body i just have to replace the lens but i mean that's the nature of point and shoot cameras and look at what's missing of course that's so annoying not the type to marry, but the type to make it knees weak. I can really promise I'ma be here when you need me. No, I'm not a player, but I crush a lot. Might get on your nerves, but you know that I just hit the spot. Uh. Oh my god, full does not even begin to describe how I feel right now. That place was so good. I definitely want to go back with Trevor when he's able to have a cheat day because it's probably a good thing he didn't come tonight because that might have been torture for him. It's a Brazilian steakhouse and it's Fago de Chao, I think, is how you pronounce it. The last word is C-H-A-O with a little squiggly over the A, so I, I think that's correct. But it was so, so good. I didn't do the Brazilian meats like all-you-can-eat selection. I just did an entree, but the entrees still came with all of the brazilian sides and then their salad bar and i am so stuffed right now the salmon was amazing i didn't opt to do the all you can eat there's two different options for that you could do like the regular which i think is like 45 bucks so not even that bad and then the premium which i think most other people got and that one's like 70 bucks where you get more like premium cuts of meat obviously i knew that i wasn't gonna have the capacity for the all you can eat today and then i really wanted fish i have the fridge open damn it and i really wanted fish and the fish was not included in the all you can eat so i just went with a single entree which was the salmon in a chimichurri sauce and it was delicious but like i said i still got all of the like sides and salad bar that the all you can eat options had so literally the same thing i just my thing just didn't have unlimited meat and the salmon was like 40 bucks so if i were to go again and i wasn't just like hardcore craving salmon i would definitely do like the regular tier all you can eat because it's definitely worth it they have these like cheese puff little breads that are so good oh my god i was like looking at the recipe i was able to find it they're unreal to describe it's like a cheese bread if that makes sense or like a bread cheese not like bread with cheese on top but like a bread made out of cheese it's so good oh my god and then their drink selection's really really awesome there's like a bunch of drinks that are like on all day happy hour so there's like four wines that are just like eight bucks per glass and then they're i can never pronounce this drink the caperinas I think those are all ten dollars and then there's a couple other drinks that are on the all day happy hour that are ten dollars as well so you can get a lot of bang for your buck my bill tonight was like 50 bucks and i had a drink and a salad bar unlimited brazilian sides and my salmon so i really really love that place like i said next time trevor has a cheat day i'm definitely gonna tell him we should go there but yeah it was a lot of fun highly recommend totally worth the money and everything was absolutely delicious um sir i thought we were over this phase yeah Exactly. So we are heading out to brunch. We're gonna 
go get my favorite breakfast burrito ever that I've ever had. It's been like three years since I had it, so hopefully it's still as good as I remember, but it's over at Social here in Costa Mesa. It's got this like lime crema in it that's just incredible. I'm currently walking off brunch in Home Goods. Like, I wanted to walk around to digest, but we wanted to do it in AC. Oh no, we're not in Home Goods. We're in at home. I got to Home Goods a little while ago, and I saw like some Halloween decor there that I liked, but I definitely wanted to compare here. I don't go big on Halloween decor, but just like some Halloween touches. But I wanted to check here before I purchased anything at Home Goods. So, we're just walking around right now, taking a look at everything. Where did Trevor go? We had a breakfast nook. This is so cute. Actually, this is what we should have done instead of the rectangle one. I really like this table a lot. Cute little cookie jar. Oh, these are so cute. Oh my gosh, these don't go with our stuff, but like, if I had a rustic home, obsessed. Ooh, the black plates are cool. Trevor's turning into me with all the water bottles. Ah. I, you have a water bottle that you can take to school. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh, how cute is this? Oh, little mommy doggy. <laughs> These are so cute. That one's really cute too. But I don't know, I just feel like I don't want orange in our living room. Got dressed super early because we are, have I mentioned we're going to Gabriel Iglesias tonight? I know that was probably in the title, but that is where we're heading right now. So for the top, I did this like cream knit Princess Polly halter open in the back and it's so cute. Pants are the Abercrombie 90s, I think 90s straight low rise jeans. I don't know if they make this style anymore. I've noticed that Abercrombie has like rotated styles out recently. Converse because we're walking. And then I am feeling like rocking my Jeannie and Burke bag. So that is the outfit for Gabriel Iglesias tonight. Oh my God, I'm sweating so bad. Do you guys see this? Look at this. I'm literally dripping. Oh my gosh, it's so hot. I gotta get downstairs. Hey, she hit me up on myself, switching numbers, paper trails. Everybody ain't for real, homie. The fair isn't if even I'm going on anymore. Upgrade and catch yourself. A lot of bitches looking stale, homie. Hey. Oh my gosh, okay, we're back from Gabriel Iglesias. I'm so tired right now. It was such a good show though. We've always wanted to see him. He's definitely one of our favorite current active comedians and we've been following his career for so many years. So it was cool to get to see him. He is from this area. So I think that's kind of like why he's been performing around here. I heard that he was in Ontario not that long ago and then obviously he was at the OC Fairgrounds tonight and it was all new material so for obvious reasons I couldn't record the actual show. They did let us pull out our phones at the end during the standing ovation and stuff and they actually asked us all to turn like the flash on our cameras on because he took a picture from the stage of everyone with their like camera flash on. So obviously I didn't take any footage of the actual performance because like I explained earlier he's probably workshopping new material at local venues around the area here and then I would imagine there's probably gonna be a big tour announced if there already isn't. I, I don't know. We just happened to stumble upon the fact that he was here just right down the street from us. So, so cool to see him. He was so funny and what I love about Gabriel's shows is that it's not just comedy. Like, he's a great storyteller too. Like, you'll get both emotions. You'll get very, like, invested and emotional about a story but also at the same time he's making you laugh which I think is, like, such a rare quality and that part of the thing that makes him like so appealing and why he has such a long career but he told this one story about he went to go see Chris Rock and Dave Chappelle pretty recently and I don't want to give too much away you know because I'm sure like it'll be on some comedy special soon or something but just him talking about that experience and his interaction with those two comedy legends like I was like pretty much tearing up because it was like a very big moment for him so yeah just overall really great show so glad that we got a chance to watch him but I am exhausted I just wanted to close out this vlog and say bye to you guys before I started uploading clips. Like I said, I'm so tired. We walked there and back. So I am gonna put my feet up, get some rest, and I will see you guys in the next vlog. Kick game, let me tap that. No shame, cause you've been bad. Real one, but you knew that. Sit back where the drinks at. Kick game, let me tap that. No shame.